In this video, I prepared an organic prod for my Chinese crossbow. For people who don't know the word prod, it is the bow of the crossbow. My previous two prods were made of modern materials, so this time I wanted to use historical materials for more authentic testing data. Throughout Chinese history, many different bow designs were used for the crossbow. Horn composites, bamboo laminates, and wood prods, etc. My bow design is based on historical sources from the Warring States to the Han Dynasty. Later sources after the Han Dynasty are generally not used for the scope of this project. Even during this time period, based on my research, it seems that a wide variety of bow limbs are used for their crossbows. But during the Han Dynasty, there was a wide range of climate and geographical regions. So the, the materials used would have likely depended on the geography and climate. Generally speaking, the more south you go, the more likely you're going to use bamboo and wood. And the more north you go, uh, especially near the desert, the more likely you're going to see horn being used. Uh, let's get into the dimensions. In, in the book, Qin Jun Shi Shi, the prods they measured are of 1.3 to 1.44 meters with a prod diameter of 3 to 5 centimeters. And here is an archaeological find of the Qin Dynasty that shows a crossbow prod to be 1.45 meters at the Terracotta. So it's 1 centimeter off from the book, which uh, it's fairly reasonable. Um, now my crossbow is 1.49 meters on strong knock to knock, so it is slightly longer. I'm going to use 120 pounds at 28 inches. Uh, for this crossbow. Uh, regarding the shape of my prod, I decided to follow a deflex reflex shape um, based on a specific design during the Warring States period. It's a pretty simple shape. I could have just done a simple deflex shape. Interestingly, if you look at the artwork from the Han Dynasty, you will see shorter draw length prods, although long draw length prods still exist during this time period, at least in the artwork. Now I actually found a surviving archaeological find. It's a burial crossbow of the Han Dynasty with a prod length of 1 meter. That being said, this is a decorated burial crossbow for wealthy people that died, not military crossbows. Regarding the material of the crossbow prod, author Wang writes about a Qin Dynasty wood prod, but he specifically mentions that it is not a self-bow. Likely, wood is a layer, but there are other layers or backings involved which cannot be described due to the state of decomposition. Now here is an excavated Warring States period bow of 80 centimeters length, and it's showing the limbs are made of four layers of bamboo that are glued together. And it specifically mentions horn being used at the tips of the limbs. Uh, likely describing horn tips or horn overlays. Uh, horn is a lot better for compression, so it's excellent material for the tips being compressed by the string. I made my crossbow with horn tip overlays as well for this reason. Back to the Han Dynasty crossbow excavated. Um, this one's actually excavated at modern day North Korea, which was an administrative division of the Han at the time. The bow is made of four straight grain wood planks glued together. And I think these limbs would have been quite common. But horn bows do exist during this time period as well. We also have artwork of this time period suggesting horn bows due to the shape of the prod. There are sources indicating that both horn and wood prods are used in conjunction. However, these are of Song Dynasty uh, sources some 1000 years later. I cannot find any writing of the Han Dynasty describing the materials of the prods from the Han people. Perhaps you can help. With all this research, I had to pick something. Well, I decided to pick a bamboo plus wood laminated prod with horn tips for my third crossbow build. Hey guys, it's Jack from Historical Archery and got something really special for you guys. This is a bow I'm going to use for my Chinese crossbow. The other prods I had had fiberglass, so this has no fiberglass. It's multiple layers of bamboo with a um, with hickory. Apparently hickory is available in China. Uh, this The specific hickory here 
is American hickory. It's pretty hard to get specifically Chinese hickory. And then the only thing I think, yeah, the core is Ipe. You don't have to use Ipe. You can have mulberry or some other kind of core. So this is basically a bamboo wood laminate bow without fiberglass. No fiberglass, just bamboo, layers of bamboo and wood glued together. Yeah, top layer is bamboo. Then the second layer is bamboo again. Then the next layer is a, a strip of Ipe, the dark strip. Then you got bamboo again. And then you have hickory, hickory, hickory. And then you have, uh, I think this is zebra wood actually, uh, just for the handle. So it's multiple layers of hardwood and bamboo. So we base this shape off of Warring States period hand bows, but basically beefing it out. And of course this bow is made by Archery Bowman on eBay. And he was the perfect person to do this because he already makes very heavy English long bows. And he backs his bows with bamboo. He liked my, my idea and it's a little different from what he normally does. So I think he did a great job. And you can see the multiple layers on this. Well done by Archie Bowman. He's a very skilled bow maker and it's awesome for that he is interested to make other styles of uh, bows. And because it's a crossbow prod, we did not bother to put a arrow pass, none of that stuff. Um, normally he puts a pearl on his handles or even some leather. So this is a crossbow prod, so there's no point shaving the handle. Um, I do want to make some modifications on this bow. The only main things I want to do is, the first one is I want to add horn overlay at the tips. And the next thing I want to do is I have some hemp and I'm going to wrap the handle with hemp. You can have multiple layers and not even glue it and just tie them. That is doable. Um, some of the bamboo slat bows do that. But you can also glue them together to make a bamboo wood um, laminate bow. So both are available. So here is the hemp wrapping on the bow. I personally think it's a little uglier than before, but it does prevent delamination on the handle. These are very multiple strips glued on. So, um, you know, wrapping stuff does hopefully prevent delamination. But more importantly, when I mount it onto the crossbow, there is when it's rubbing onto the crossbow, it doesn't uh, damage the wood. It only rubs onto the hemp. So that's another reason. And more importantly, when you put it onto the crossbow, you can't even see the hemp wrapping because the crossbow stock is blocking it. So uh, cosmetically, it doesn't even matter. So the only thing left to do is to glue horn at overlays at the tips. And that's it for me for this bow. I'd rather have a piece of horn on top so the horn is being compressed instead of the bamboo when the string is on. So that's basically the plan, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so here is the horn that I have, and I'm just gonna glue it right on top, but I wanna make sure the surface is perfectly flat before I do that, and that's how I make my horn tip overlays. You know, historically I would use hide glue, but yeah, I cheated. I used a modern glue. Well, there you go. I got the uh, groove sanded out, and now you have two functional grooves so now i'm going to wrap some hemp near the tips and one thing that helps is prevent the string from falling off and it's supposed to prevent uh, delamination <clears throat> that's my 28 inches One fifty six FPS. No, one sixty FPS. My bad, one sixty. One sixty. That's not bad for the weight. One fifty eight FPS. One fifty eight. 